Well, also, this noon activists are demonstrating in front of Philadelphia City Hall as the fallout continues since last week's resignation of Police Commissioner Richard Ross. Members of the Rally for Justice Coalition want to say in who is chosen as the city's next top cop. I Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live at City Hall. Good afternoon, Matt. Hey, Jim, good afternoon to you. There's about a dozen activists gathered outside of Philadelphia City Hall. Take a look right now. You can see they're preparing for a news conference right now that's expected to start in just a few minutes. They tell us they want to see some specific qualities in the next police commissioner. For instance, some want to see that person to be a female African American. Now, Philadelphia's previous police commissioner, Richard Ross, resigned last week. His surprise step down came after a federal lawsuit was filed by two African American female officers. The women alleged sexual harassment in the police department. Now, the suit did not accuse Ross of harassment, but he still decided it was best to leave the department and his $254,000 salary. We spoke to an activist just moments ago. Take a listen. Well, we want to see someone who continue and even further the policies of former Commissioner Richard Ross. Is it important to you to have an African-American woman as police commissioner? Yes, it is. Why is Be that? Because due to the numerous problems here in this city, uh, black women are more in touch, even sometimes more than the black man, in touch with the realities of the crime situation. Because as you notice, in numerous situations, you have black women who are leading the marches and leading the rallies and taking an active part in and against gun violence. And Philadelphia's current acting police commissioner, Christine Coulter, told Eyewitness News just yesterday to, that she's hoping to take the reins of Philadelphia's police department. Ultimately, though, it is Philadelphia mayor's uh, decision on who that person will be. Reporting live outside of City Hall, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Matt.